Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome back to my second channel. Right, today's video is 100% inspired by Cody's Book Corner. She put a video up a couple of weeks ago now and she showed you all of her unread books and um, I absolutely loved that video. As I was watching, I was like, I've got to do this because I know so many of you are nosy what's really on the shelves, like get a close-up look. And um, so she went through and like, I'll link her video down below. You should definitely check her out, she's awesome. So thank you for the amazing idea. I take no credit. So I'm gonna show you all of my unread books. Most of my read books I keep downstairs. So on here I've just turned around any of the books that I have read um, and a lot of part of a series, but we'll go through that. And then what I want you to do is vote down below, leave in a comment which book you want me to read. And then for December, one of the vlogs in December, um, I'll tally it up and I'll read one of the highest recommended books uh, from those comments. So that's why I haven't really set up this right now because we're gonna be getting up close and personal with the book. So. Let me take you through all of my unread books. Now, I just wanna say there might be the odd book scattered here or there around the house that I haven't read that I've just put down, but I went through and tried to get all of them. So, let us begin. So let's start up here first. We've got Stephen King, Misery, and then all of these are Lauren Dane, and they're all more um, like erotic romance, those books. Um, so feel free to pick any of those. Then down here, I've got almost all of the Immortal After Dark series, um, but some of them are hardback. So if you want me to continue, I've read all those. Please vote for Kiss of a Demon King. That's the next one I have to read in the series and they have to be read in order. So ignore these ones. And if you want me to carry on, choose that one. So back here, we have an almost complete um, collection of the like Highlander, I don't know, their historical, paranormal romances. So the first one is Beyond the Highland Mist. If you want me to start this series, then please vote for that one. I'm only missing one of them. These are the ones I picked up from the car booth, like two quid for all of them. So back here, we have some historical romances that I kind of picked up to try and do a video on, but just the video didn't go anywhere, really. Um, so if any of them are very good, got some spice in them, do let me know. Okay, so let's go down here. So if you want me to continue the Nightwalker series, I have Gideon. I already read like a chapter from it. Um, that's the one I need to read next, so please vote Gideon. And I have Noah, but that's like further along in the series. I think that's number five or something. Get back in there. Excuse me. Okay, fine. Then I have Atlantis Rising by Alyssa Day. Um, can't read these two because they are part of a series, so I should have turned them around as well, to be honest. Then we have Raw Talent by Deborah Webb. <laughs> started reading it, did enjoy it. And I actually started reading one of these stories for my Mills and Boone vlog, which is never gonna happen for reasons. Um, and I actually wasn't really enjoying it, but if there is one in there, I think there's three books, then let me know. <laughs> I think this might be close to being a winner. I started reading this, I got like, that far through and I was really enjoying it. It's just one of those books I put down and walked away and I don't know why, uh, cause it was really good. So we got The Book Thief there, got a man called Ove. We have The First Phone Call From Heaven by Mitch Albom. Um, we have Once, which is a very short book all about um, World War II, I think. Then we have Schindler's List. We have The Devil's Poetry and we have The Green Mile by Stephen King. So you can vote for any of those. Then we have loads in the series of uh, by Christine Fian. Uh, the next one, I'm up to book two of the Carpathian series. Uh, the first book I gave two and a half stars. Yeah wasn't great uh, but that was more not so much the writing but the decisions that were made in the storytelling so if you want to continue on then Dark Desire is the one you have to vote for oh would you look at that it's my book did you know I'm a published author anywho um so we have these three oh let's so we got these lovely books and these were sent to me by a follower called Angus and we love Angus um so we got those we have War and Peace <laughs> don't make me do it not, no, Big Boy Book Club, it was a mistake. It was just a mistake. We have Lolita, because I actually picked that up for a video I was gonna do, reading Lolita. Um, then we have The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. I've got two copies of that by Stephen King. And we also have, this is Dreamcatcher by Stephen King as well. All right, let's see what's in these piles. We got The Master and Margarita. We got um, Omid Jalili's um, autobiography memoir, which I started reading, because I absolutely love him. We got Girl, Woman, Other, which I was actually gonna read for nonfiction November, but then actually found out it's fiction. I thought it was nonfiction for some reason, um, but that looks really good. This one, this Karen Hawkins, is a historical romance, I believe, again, for the book. For the video I was gonna do, but apparently it doesn't have great reviews. Then we have this very broken one, Master of Surrender. These two, again, Christi, uh, Christine Fian. I just picked these up today, but these are part of a series. 
So this is number three, I think, and that's like number five or six. And they're the Drake Sisters novels. So let me know if I can read them standalone or if I do need to read them as um, part of the series. Then over here we have these two, as you would have seen from my um, try a chapter tag. We got the versions of Us and the last. Pick this up today, the idea of you, because um, I couldn't remember if people had hi highly rated it or said it wasn't very good, but it was only 50p, and just for the chance that it was actually really good, I picked it up. And then I love a street cat named Bob, as you know, so I picked up the other two books today by James Bowen, um, so I'm excited to get to them too, because I love Bob, rest in peace. And then, you might remember this, I actually DNF'd this, because I said it got too spicy too quickly, and I need more angst and build up, but someone actually told me what happens at the start, and I put it down too quickly, so I'm going to pick that back up. Oh, so many. Okay, now I'm realizing just how many bloody books I've got. All right, let's start from the bottom. We got Sapiens. I'm very tempted to actually just unhaul that. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to it. We have If I Stay, uh, that's a short read. It looks really good. We've got Pet Cemetery by Stephen King, The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, and Exquisite Corpse. I, if, I don't look at this bookshelf as much as I should, um, but this was a viewer recommendation, so I really need to read that. Then here we have The Dark Tower, and Slinger series, I think, whatever it is, the fantasy one that Stephen King wrote. Uh, what a, What's a Girl Gotta Do by Holly Bourne. Uh, the Underground Railroad, really, really want to read that. Uh, the Narrow Road to the Deep North, I really want to read that, but I've kind of gone off the thought route. I don't know, I just like, it's just sat there now. So let me know if I should read that. And then Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Gender. I'm looking forward to that one as well. Then up here we have A Gentleman in Moscow. Uh, we have Rebecca. Still have not read Rebecca, I know. Um, and also we have The Man in the Iron Mask and The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. We have Three Kings in a row. We've got The Dark Half, Salem's Lot and Doctor Sleep. And this is a gigantic book. It doesn't look that big, but the font is so small. And it's a brief history of seven killings. It sounds amazing, but it's, it's a chunk of a book. Up here we have Where Demons Fear to Tread, we have My Love Lies Bleeding, and we have Heat of the Night. I can't read these three because they are part of a um, series that I haven't got to yet in the series, if that makes sense. And then up here we got The Only Good Indians, we've got Cersei, which I still have not read. Um, then we have just some romances I picked up because they were super cheap. We've got The Dark Garden, Forbidden Fruit, and I know these are part of a trilogy, and I don't know, I was very tempted to unhaul them, to be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna get to them, but let me know. I mean, if I'm missing out some good smutty time, you gotta let a girl know, like you did in my unhaul, that I will be taken out I will be finding Bitten in there and taking it back out because apparently that's really good. So we have Carve the Mark. Um, again, that was one I was very tempted to unhaul, but I'm gonna hang on to it. Then we have my Cresley Coles, but they're part of the Immortals After Dark series and I haven't got to them. Another copy of Doctor Sleep. Uh, we got Finders Keepers, Bag of Bones and The Bazaar of Bad Dreams by Stephen King there. We have Nocturna. Um, not actually 100% interested in reading this. I own it because I found it cheap and it was a fairy loot edition sprayed edges with the artwork inside, so. And that is a more stuff dark, so I can't read that. Then we have the this omnibus of Stephen King, Shining, Carrie and Misery. I've read The Shining, so it'll either be Carrie or Misery. Then up here, The Elephant in the Brain. I've read half of this. Well, no, actually, probably less than half. Uh, I might pick it back up, I'm not too sure. Then we have Becoming by Michelle Obama, started that, really want to finish it. We have Del of a Life by David Jason, we got The Dark Side of the Mind, we got The Heat of the Moment, and we got Tricks of the Mind by Darren Brown. This is all non-fiction stuff that I've put here for non-fiction November. Um, we have got Mother Country, uh, really, really want to read that. Um, and it was downstairs for some reason on my red shelf. We have Barack Obama's Dreams from My Father, uh, Fragile Lives, which is all about a heart surgeon, antisocial, and hard push. So there's a good non-fiction selection if you want to go for one of those. Okay, there's more. There's more. All right, these shelves. So um, I can't read Hannibal or Hannibal Rising. I've read Red Dragon. I need to read Signs of the Lambs next, which I do have paperback and on Audible, so if you want me to continue with Thomas Harris, then please vote for Silence of the Lambs. We got From a Buick 8 by Stephen King. We have the DNHS book from Adam Kay. We got Son of Bill Bryson's, of course. Uh, so we got One Summer, A Walk in the Woods and Down Under. Then we've got another copy of The Goldfinch, a hardback one, and a short history of nearly everything. Um, so we have The Life and Times of the Thunderbolt Kid, we have The Road to Little Dribbling, and we have The Testaments. I think I was meant to unhaul that. Then I got this, The Fair of the Tealing, but I'm pretty sure it's part of a trilogy or a series and I can't read it yet. Uh, we've got Michael Crichton's uh, State of Fear and Paula Hawkins' Into the Water. And uh, we have another 
copy of The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. Um, I'm not going to read this, so don't even bother. It's I got it because it's signed by the author. Stupid, I know, but it was like 50p or something stupid. And then we have back-to-back um, -back books from Bear Grylls. Love him. And then we have Troy by Stephen King, and we have... No, sorry. We have Troy by Stephen Fry and The Stand by Stephen King. And we also have... Uh, Ptolemy's Gate, which is the third book in the Bartimaeus trilogy, which I still need to read. This is the last of them. So, we got Snowing and Barley. Started reading that, really enjoyed it. Like, that, I've got to start from the beginning, though, because I can, cannot remember what goes on. Then we have Dracula, but I've never read Dracula, so I don't want to read that yet. Uh, George Orwell's 1984. Have started actually listening to the audio. It's on YouTube, and it's like a full, ca like... It's got all the sound effects and music. It's brilliant. Um, we got American Psycho, Room... Started reading, love the film. Uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, I'm not going to read that, that's Scott's book. And he's not going to read it either, I don't know why I've got it. Uh, we've got Captain Corelli's Mandolin, we've got Lizzie's Story by Stephen King, and the Hannibal Lecter Omnibus. And like I said, if we're going to go for that one, it's got to be Science of the Lambs. Then we have The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. We got The Island by Victoria Hislop. Uh, my mom gave me that because it's one of her favourite books. Um, the Hobbit, I don't think I'm going to read. I really don't. Because I also have the box set. Because I've read the first one. And I don't know if I'm going to continue, in all honesty. <sighs> a very popular one. I did start it. Wasn't really vibing with it, Where the Crawdads Sing. So, yeah. Um, but I know that's probably going to be really highly voted. If it is, like, just be honest. Don't listen to what I what I say. If it is, then I'll read it. Um, the Wild Hunt. Uh, another Bill Bryson. Notes from a Small Island. We've got Oliver Twist. We have The Passengers. We have Jurassic Park and Mr. Mercedes. And The Chronicles of Narnia. Big boy book. I'm just going to show you these ones. Um, but don't vote on these ones. These are my three childhood favourites. As you know that I'm going to do in a vlog. And I'm going to do another vlog reading Dark Lover. So you don't need to vote for those. Those will be read. Okay? Just wanted to show you anyway. So those are all of my unread books. And now I want you to go down below. Vote in the comment uh, which one you want me to read and I'll do like a cosy vlog with some wine or something um, and we'll just sit down and read your like I'll go through all the comments and I'll tally up how many votes each book gets. Or maybe I'll do two, maybe you can pick one romance for me and one of another one. So put all your recommendations down below and um, yeah I'll be interested, I think I have a prediction, I'm not going to say it but I predict two of the books are going to be really highly recommended and those are the ones I'm going to have to read. Which isn't a bad thing. Because they're obviously like really good probably. Um, so yeah, hope I went slow enough. Hope the camera was okay and you picked up on all the books that um, I've got. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you recommend. So, loving, leaving, shutting up. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, all the fun stuff. Do all of it, do none of it. I spat. I'm sorry. I was rude. Do all of it, do none of it. It doesn't matter so long as you are happy. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.